What's up guys, Chris here. Hey, nice Corvette. There's a rumor that Toys R Us may be closing soon. We better go picking before we can't. Let's hit it. I don't want to grow up, I'm a Toys R Us kid. Million toys of Toys R Us that I can play with. From bikes to trains to video games. It's the biggest toy store there is. I don't want to grow up, because maybe if I did, I wouldn't be a Toys R Us kid. All right, we're here. Man. <sighs> Leaves a little sadness in the heart. It's been a familiar sight for most of my life and all of my kids' life. Toys, we is be do does. Benz has got some age on it, but it's still looking good. No mention anywhere of the store closing. Phonetic sand play table. No time for that. I usually just go straight to the Hot Wheels section, but May as well appreciate it all, take it all in while we can. Look at this, they still make a Barbie Corvette. Man, it's a C6. $54.99. Hmm. Jeffrey. Oh, got the Super Ultimate Garage going. Who is that? Here he is. Look at this. Pretty neat that they got this out here for the kids to play on. Don't have it set up right, of course. Should be good now. I'll do my best to narrate here since they got the music blaring. Here's these Gran Turismo cars I've been looking for. Hey, the Infinity. Nice yellow. And a browse and get a quick overview of everything they have left, I guess. Doesn't look like they've restocked the shelves. And I'm going to miss some of these exclusive items that Toys R Us carried. Wonder what's going to happen to all this stuff. Justice League on clearance. Look at the AI stuff. Hey, Gravedigger hat. Hmm. That's a youth. My head's too big. El Toro Loco. Ah, oh, man. Look at this stuff. Empty pegs. What's this thing? Hmm. Scooby Dooby Doo. Got some DC character cars next to an empty peg. Closer look at a 20 pack. Should pick this up. The RC drones look pretty cool. Look at this. World Rally Raceway. That's pretty neat. And the Tonka section. Good to know they still got metal Tonka trucks. Eh, odds and ends. Stuff on clearance that didn't make the cut. Little Auto World. Tech decks. Not sure where I'm going to get my green light from. I guess Hobby Lobby. There's Johnny Lightning. M2s, Matchbox Deluxe stuff, there's some Hobby Shop uh, green light stuff, Majorette, still haven't popped up in my Walmart, not 
not sure if it ever will. Hopefully it does. The M2s. Majorette definitely has to do better on their cards. They have the closed loop hooks. It makes it very difficult to look through the variety of cars here. They gotta remove it because of that loop. That's what I wanted. Fast and Furious stuff already on clearance. Cool five pack though still. I picked these things up a while back. Still haven't got around to doing a video. Same thing with that. Micro boats, I got that thing. Hey, pullback cars. You can still find pullback cars at CVS. A couple different places. I haven't seen this Pagani yet. It's a neat one. New green ZL1 Camaro. Nice. Alright. Seen all these before. Got some car stuff. McQueen. Cruise. Towmater. Those things are neat. That's like the Max Tow Truck. Quite a bit of car stuff. Hey, they got the Florida 500. A lot of people ask me about that. There it is. 99 bucks. A lot of McQueens. Miss Fritter. Thought that was a pretty cool character. And then all the, I don't want to call them generic cars, but they kind of are fast lane stuff. There's the world's smallest Hot Wheels. True Heroes. Man, I used to go to Toys R Us to get all my G.I. Joe stuff when I was a kid. Kind of got replaced by True Heroes. Here we got the blaze trucks. Finally found these dino blaze trucks. Oh man, I'm in trouble. Dino blaze. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely gonna pick these up. I gotta pick up some of these sets too. Maybe not this time. But might not get another chance. Hmm. Thomas the train. This brings back some great memories. Kids had a few of these things growing up. Haven't seen this stuff in a long time. Power trains. This is cool. I always love these little display sets. I wonder what's going to happen to those. Let's go check out some Legos. There's another display set. Look at this thing. Man, this would keep me occupied for a couple hours. Hmm. Might have to inquire as to what they're going to do with these things. Be really neat to get one. That's pretty neat. Little city scene. And that is awesome. Look at that Imperial Cruiser. At at. And check out the race cars. Ferrari, F1 car, Ford GT, Bugatti. Yeah, cool. Legos definitely come a long way. Wow, that is cool. That's a big ship. Speaking of big, look at this land speeder. If you're a little kid and you have this thing, man, I'd be going to Tatooine every day. 
that. That's pretty neat. BMW i8. Hey, Maserati. Porsche. GT3? Yeah. Another Beamer. Hey, the Mickey Roadster. And a polka dot mini car. Audi R8 convertible or spider. A hey, Barbie truck. Oh, the Lambo doors aren't working. John Deere. There's a cool Chevy Silverado. Dirty Max. Mercedes Benz. Look at those brakes. ATVs. Neat. And a fire truck. Nerf stuff. Look at this drone. Huh. Have not seen those. So you roll around and shoot at you? And then you got the buggy. Oh, wow. That thing must dominate the sidewalks. Look at these kids. Yep, gonna miss coming in here and looking at all this stuff. Even the bikes. The monster truck tires. Hey, old school Schwinn. Pretty neat. Big chubby tires. Electric green machine. A couple scooters. Man. Oh. I just start pressing stuff. This thing's big. And random stuff, action figures. It's a big Hot Wheels car. Spider-Man shootout car. Random Star Wars section. Character cars. Got all these almost. Missing a few. Hmm. Definitely might pick that up. Some of you guys might be into these pop characters. Here's a look at what the Toys R Us has. Quite a few of them. I personally never got into these, but you can see the collectability. Who knows where they'll go now that Toys R Us is gone. Might go the way of the Beanie Baby. And me and this Cardinal sitting on my shoulder. And the final bottom row Mickey and Minnie cool Minecraft gremlins don't get water on them RC section pretty neat not quite hobby grade but you can always find something fun here on this wall I happen to spot a Bugatti. Look at that, the new Chiron. I need to pick that up. And finally up at the register, had another section of pullbacks. C7R. Some cool ones. Pagani. And we're out of here. That's it, guys. We'll be able to tell our great great grandkids. We used to be able to walk into a store and buy all kinds of toys. Now, who knows what you have to do?
Maybe you have a maker bot on your dining room table making a toy for you. That might be cool. Maybe I'll take a little trip to the other Toys R Us. What do you say? Let's go. Let's go see what they have. Yep, right off the bat, more music going on in here. A lot better selection at this Toys R Us, though. Running on empty, green light. Neat van. Hey, C6 Corvette convertible. Might need to get that. That's neat. Ooh, definitely got to get this. Daytona prototype, Golf. Hey, what's that? Hmm. Don't mind if I do. Wow. Nice. More tiny houses. This thing is cool. Yeah, between you and me, the prices at Toys R Us were sometimes a dollar or two higher. But hey, you pay to play. Tokyo Torque, I got most of these. Hey, wait a minute, I don't think I have this. Huh, I wonder how I missed that. That's a cool set though. Green light, and those guys need to do more. Johnny Lightning also need to do more imports. Got to keep these kids into the hobby. This is awesome. Speaking of hobby, look at the hobby shop. These are pretty neat. GTR. Love the little diorama. Very cool. What is that? Some auto world. Not much auto world though. Seem to have more stuff at Walmart. Hot Rod. I love the old muscle cars. I wish more kids were into it, though. My kids love them. They respect them because they grew up with them, but they're definitely into the JDM more. There's a mixture of both. Some Hot Rod Flames on a 350. Yep, cool stuff. Man, nice. I think I might have that. M2. Oops, that didn't happen. Uh, four pack. Very neat. Love that with the garage door in the back. Matchbox parking garage. I'm in the midst of making a city in my toy box using some different parking garages. Deluxe Matchbox. Got a few of those already. Looks like they haven't got a Matchbox case in quite some time. E. I'm not sure if I have this 5-pack. I think I do. I think I remember that Corvette right there. Better get this just in case. Hmm. More Star Wars character cars. Definitely slim pickings, though. You can see a lot of clearance tags. Pegs are empty. AI. Man, overpass. I need that. Wonder if it'll go lower than 24 bucks. World's smallest. A few random collectible series. That's some main lines. May as well pick up some while I'm here. I don't think I have that one. Another six lane raceway. Looks like they got a few of them. Good to see that here. And more pullbacks. 
Don't think they've refreshed these lately, though. Definitely a better selection at the other one. Nonetheless, some cool ones. Somebody commented on Ghost Joker. I'll give you a 500 bucks for your Lamborghini Mira pullback car. Well, go to Toys R Us and get one for $5.99. All right, guys, let's go home, see what we got. Here we are back home. Definitely spent enough money today to keep Toys R Us in business a little while longer. I remember when I first started collecting toys, I would not dream of spending this much money in one outing. But let's look at these mainline Hot Wheels first. Tank Nader. Bubblematic. Really like this one. 180SX. Cool AMG GT. Here we have an SRT Challenger in yellow. Definitely going to see these on an upcoming King of the Hill. Custom Ford Maverick. Aston Martin 177. Nice green. Speaking of nice green, look at that 63 Chevy. Turbo Rooster. Man, these paint jobs are showing up really nice in the sun. Nissan Skyline. Found two Loopsters. Always try to pick these up. Notice any difference? Look at those guys in the back on the bottom one. Hands up. Here we have teed off. In case you're looking to improve your golf game. Stick the ball right on top of them. Batman, Arkham Knight, Batmobile. Ah, a little bit of red on top. Love this one. Indy 500 Oval with Gulf livery. Number 33. We have a beautiful Pagani Huayra in gray. The red interior. Almost a clear red plastic on that interior. Very nice. And definitely shiny flash drive. It's like you could plug it right in. There we have a matchbox. Wasn't sure if I had this already. I think I do, but I want to pick this up before it's gone. Black Corvette C6, Porsche, Lotus, Ford GT, Cobra. Here we have some Blaze. Some of you guys are saying, Chris, what are you picking up these baby toys for? Well... We play monster truck football over on the MTFL channel. The Blaze trucks are some heavy hitters. Here we have Dino Blaze, real heavy. Ankylosaur Ankylosaurus truck. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at that Stegosaurus. Metallic Racer Zeg. It's like a Triceratops. That was my favorite dinosaur as a kid. And Metallic Racer Stripes. Cool shiny paint job. Look at this. 2000 Nissan Skyline GTR. Flat black. We have the Hobby Shop. Another GTR. Look at that R35 with a Falcon livery. Cool little awning here. Driver. Very neat. And from Tokyo Torque. I actually have the whole set of these, but I found this blue Skyline GTR. Don't think I had that one. Love the blue paint. There's a Johnny Lightning. Definitely unique to see flames on a 350Z. Nonetheless, pretty cool. Some more golf. Let's keep these guys out. Where's my other golf guy? There he is. Can match up the color here. Very similar. The one on the green light might be a little bit lighter blue. A little bit lighter orange as well. 
but definitely more realism. Look at that. Grand Am Daytona prototype. 2012 Corvette convertible. Nice orange. And picked up some Majorette. Look at this. These are all from the Gran Turismo game. There's the Vision. Alpine. Here's the Peugeot. Mercedes-Benz AMG Vision. Infinity Concept Vision. Bentley Continental GT V8S. Opening doors. Look at this though. 124 scale RC. To add to my RC car collection. That was a pretty great video last year. Look at this. Pullback. A GT3. Let's see. Yep. Yeah, GT3 RS cop car. Try getting away from that thing. That guy will catch you real quick. No wheel spin off the line with this bad boy. And for the golf stuff, picked up the vintage gas station. Greenlight is really outdoing themselves with some of these play sets. Awesome realism. Look at this. Look at this metal. Oh, that is the service station roof, and it's actually metal. All right, we put the other wall on here. Now let's take a look in there first. Oh, look, they do open. Oh, cool. Look at that. A couple oil stains. A little crack in the floor. We stick this in here. Ah, there it goes. Slides down. This goes here. We leave that top open, I guess. If you wanted to, though, you could cut this part out and make a little rooftop for yourself. Hey, look at that. All right, now we got a roof on top. The golf. It looks like somebody nicked the roof when they came in with something a little bit too tall. Probably not up to collector standards, but cool to have a roof on there. And yeah, of course you can take it right off. Let's see if we can get this out. Park a couple of golf vehicles here. Needs a couple race cars in there. Man, take a quick look at these cars. Little carbon fiber wing on the back. Rubber tires. car and if you want more light take the roof off beautiful station and look at the inside you can put little figures in there let's curve that awning up a little bit there we go all right, guys. Oh, I almost forgot the Millennium Falcon. Look at this thing. This looks like it's going to make for a fun video. Eh, we won't open it today, but someday. All right, guys, that'll do it. Thanks for joining me. Get out there and go picking especially at Toys R Us, before it's too late.